guess what time it is? It's my favorite time of the week. It's my favorite time too. It's time for another coffee with Kylie and Kelly. Woo! Woo! Sparkles, glitter, fun. Sprinkles. Everything. Guess How's it going? Good. Guess what today is? I know what today is. You told me. It's Kylie and Kelly day. It is. Six years friends on Facebook. It's our friend anniversary. <sighs> Six years. Do you remember it? It was like it was yesterday. I did. I got teary eyed when you mentioned that it was six years. I walked into one of his open houses and never let him out of my sight since then. <laughs> Poor guy. I was like, I think we're going to be stuck together now. I'm like, you're my new friend. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. For Look Kelly. who won. <laughs> Kelly. That's right. <laughs> we should. I wish we had like some sparkles and some like fireworks behind us six years i heard that there was a proclamation that was supposed to be put out but apparently got lost in like the red tape of the government i like how you said proclamation there that was good i was trying to think of the right word <laughs> i love it when you do words <laughs> i so, teach him new words every day <laughs> every day is an adventure <laughs> combinations of two words just throw them together yeah, just throw them together like brangelina started it all and you've just you run with it i mean why waste your time saying two words when you can combine just like two them. or three of them sandwich them together make them your own <laughs> you're welcome right. <laughs> all right so on to more important things so it is kylie and kelly day so if you see kelly out congratulate him on six years of being my friend lucky me the luckiest of guys that's what they say so guys we're here for something serious yeah we wanted to talk about a company that rhymes with pillow. I thought we weren't. I thought we were just going to talk in hypotheticals. Well, hypothetically, they a company that might be around right now that yes. rhymes with pillow. Okay. Um, they are buying a lot of houses. Yes. And they're coming at people with these huge numbers. Yes. And I just want to say, for the record, do you mind if I say it? It's, I don't know what you're going to say, but I'm going to go ahead <laughs> it's and say yes. One of my yes. favorite things. Um, I think it's a really, really good idea if you don't like money. You have been saying this for about a year now. And, but I, now we have like empirical proof. Ooh, that was a big word. Mm -hmm. Triple words go there. <laughs> but, um, that they're leading with a really big number up front. Mm -hmm. But I have one here, right here. You can't see it. Kylene reminded me that it will be backwards, but. They came up with a market value of $325,000, which is not, I don't think that's a terrible value. No. But then they charge 14%. To come can, up with that value. To come up with that value. Well, that's what their, their, their service charge is 14%. Plus closing costs. Of, on top of that. Mm -hmm. And then, and that's before they even go to your house and say, um, your water heater's old, we want a new one. The your, roof needs to be repaired. The roof needs to be replaced, flooring's worn out, yeah. and then it's subtraction, 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 subtraction. So there is a convenience there, and it really does make a big difference to a lot of people to be able to go, I'm out, I don't have to do showings, I don't have to do open houses. So there is convenience there. Yeah, because it is a tough three days to put your house up In on the market. In this market, you're right, it is a really hard three days. Three days. Three Friday days. to Sunday. Yeah. And like Sunday at like two o'clock. Right. We're done with two. So you want to go through those numbers real quick? Well, just in this situation, the buyer was able to make $53,541 more net, netting Walk, that much more. Money. Right. That's not even what they made on top of what we were able to sell. But just by going through a realtor, they were able to save 53541 So. Yes, that initial number that you're seeing from some of these cash buyers might seem appealing, um, but once we start getting into it a little bit, it's not you're not really saving a ton of money. They're making their money for yeah, sure. Yeah, these guys. And then on top of that, they're showing that they sold for a higher amount, even though they were able to fee you down to where the true value is. And then they're showing a loss on the sales side of it on the other side. So there's a lot going on there. We haven't quite figured it all out because rates change and are different and it's a sliding scale so there's a lot that goes into it but just from a year watching it we would say do your research and call us first because here's the other part of that kelly is certified to get cash offers from multiple different companies actually i'm glad you mentioned that because we sell houses for a living we know how to present a house so even 
uh, even though you can go online and you could do a click and drag and you can put your pictures up, the way that I do it, the way that I've been trained to do it, so I can get more attention from these eye buyers than you will, is um, it'll be better. It, it will end up netting you more if, if I'm the guy that actually goes in and does the eye buyer with you um, than you will yourself. Because again, this is what we've been doing. This is what we do. Long well, story short, you just need to call us. <laughs> So again, real life example, 53,000 and, and this is not uncommon. So traditional real estate, though, it's not as convenient. I'll give you that in this market. It's an inconvenient three days that could net you over $50,000 additional. And you get the pleasure of working with this one. I'm a joy. <laughs> I've been doing it for six years. Ask around. Yeah. <laughs> six years friendship. <laughs> Help me. It's been great. <laughs> um, so <laughs> if they want to get a hold of us to find out what their home would be worth in a cash offer situation or what the KKG could save them by putting it on traditionally, how would they do that? Well, they should call our 813 number. Mm -hmm. 813. <laughs> yes. 681. Six, H O M E. Home. Home. Call home. Or if you just want to call the Baddest Chicken Real Estate directly. 317-605-1211 or the fuzziest silver fox that you'll ever meet. Fuzzy? Well, I got in trouble last week for calling you a fuzzy bear. Oh, did you call me fuzzy bear? Well, I said, like, you were saying that you were scared and I was like, oh no, oh, look at you, you're like scary. a big fuzzy bear. Oh, and then yeah, like, yeah. I got in trouble for that. Okay. People called me and they're like, I can't believe you called him fuzzy on. <laughs> well, I'm a little fuzzy sometimes. I, I don't, I get it. I mean, Anyway, you can call me, text me, whatever. 813-760-6403. Thanks, guys. Talk to you soon. Who needs enemies when you got friends like this? <laughs> That's right. Goodbye. Uh, you